The AI Root Company, located in Medina, Ohio, manufactures a full line of premium quality candles and candle accessories under its family brand name of Root Candles. Established in 1869 to sell honey and beekeeping supplies, the company has a rich heritage. The company's founder, Amos Ives Root, was a well-known eccentric who invented a new beehive that made it possible for beekeepers to harvest their honey without destroying the bee colony. He wrote a book on modern beekeeping called The ABC of Bee Culture and started a magazine called Gleanings in Bee Culture, which is still published today. My great-grandfather was a man of many interests mostly scientific. His contributions to modern beekeeping are well known. However, he was curious about many of the scientific discoveries and technical innovations of his day. He designed and built a windmill to power the printing press used to print his magazine, Gleanings of Bee Culture. That same windmill was used to charge the batteries in his newfangled electric car. His interest in aviation led him to befriend the Wright brothers in 1905, A.I. published the first eyewitness account of their flight in his magazine, Gleanings in Bee Culture. A copy of that issue is displayed in the Smithsonian Institute. A.I. died in 1923, but his values and vision continue to resonate within the company today. Red Candle is still family owned and still headquartered in Medina, Ohio with an additional production plant in San Antonio, Texas. Rutt got into the business of making candles in the 1920s when Huber Rutt, A.I.'s son, was asked by a local priest to analyze some church candles for possible adulteration of the beeswax content. Today, the A.I. Rutt Company is the market leader in liturgical candles that are sold directly to the Catholic and Protestant churches by the company's own sales representatives. In the late 1960s, the Rook Company began manufacturing decorative candles for the home at our San Antonio, Texas facility. It was also at that time that we began making candles with fragrances. Fragrance innovation and development is one of the keys to success in the candle industry today. Rook offers a full range of candle styles. They also constantly work on product and fragrance development and yet Rook can both make and sell candles at a competitive price that consumers can afford. This is our line of Queen Bee Jar candles. We offer them in four sizes, mini, small, medium, and large, and they're available in 55 colors and fragrance combinations. And we're very excited about our Metrolite and Tumbler filled container. We believe as consumers become more fashion oriented that shape and appearance is going to be more important. Root candles are sold to consumers primarily through specialty stores, gift stores, greeting card stores, and home decor stores. Consumers can buy directly from Root through its website. Root also owns two retail outlets, including its flagship store in Medina, Ohio, located across the street from its corporate offices. On the Root Lightstyle website, consumers can determine which of five Lightstyle categories best suits their individual decorating style through taking a self-administered quiz. There are five Lightstyle categories, Modernist, Classic, Relaxed, Romantic, and Spirited. Root advertises its candles to consumers in local newspapers and sends direct mail postcards to registered shoppers. Advertising to the trade is through industry magazines. Root also maintains showrooms and wholesale trademarks across the U.S. Price is not the most important influence on consumer candle purchases for several reasons. Candles are mostly bought by women, and that's because they actually value them as decorative accessories in the home, and they view them as affordable luxury. They use candles as a focal point in the home, as seasonal decoration, and for aromatherapy. Candles also are bought to give as gifts. Studies have shown that the most important factor influencing consumer choice is fragrance, followed by color, cost, and shape. However, fragrance and color are closely linked. Consumers expect the color of a scented candle to mirror their psychological perceptions of the fragrance. 
Also, color becomes an important factor when candles are bought to complement a home's decor. If bought for gift purposes, candle design and beautiful packaging comes into play. However, if bought to reduce stress, create atmosphere and heighten mood, the candle's warm light and scent are the most important factors. The scent must be relaxing, meditative, and uplifting. Although consumer buyers are not overly price sensitive when it comes to buying candles, we take a value-oriented approach to pricing. We produce a premium line of basic candles at a fair price, one that covers the cost of quality materials, production, and distribution, and provides for a fair profit for the company. Rick candles have superior burn quality. A candle's burn quality refers to its fuel consumption efficiency and performance with respect to things like dripping, flame size, and soot. Candles with good burn quality typically have longer burn times. Part of the reason wood candles have such superior burn quality is because they design and produce their own wicks. We also offer a full range of candle styles. We constantly work on product and fragrance development, yet we make and sell our candles at a competitive price that consumers can afford. Our method for setting a list price to retailers is to determine the total per unit manufacturing cost of a candle and add a dollar amount to that cost using a markup based on our cost. To determine the total per unit manufacturing cost of a candle, we calculate its variable manufacturing cost per unit and allocate a portion of the manufacturing overhead based on production hours. Manufacturing overhead is comprised of items like utilities, supervisors' salaries, facilities and equipment costs, insurance and liability, maintenance and engineering costs, and other costs associated with running a manufacturing plant. Take this 20-hour Oceana votive candle. Its color is beach glass. Its fragrance is a mixture of fruit with highlights of jasmine and vanilla. It's individually wrapped and labeled and will be packaged in this retail display box and ultimately packed in a warehouse MasterCard. The manufacturing variable costs associated with this votive are its wax content, its wick, the fragrance content, the color, labor and benefits, and its packaging and labels. It takes .0023 hours of production, or roughly eight seconds, to produce this votive candle, and the allocation rate per production hour is $47.78. When you add the total per unit variable manufacturing cost to the allocated manufacturing overhead per unit, you find that the total manufacturing cost per unit for this votive is 0.4415 cents or 44 cents rounded. We use a markup based on cost of 80%. This markup covers corporate costs, research and development costs, marketing and distribution costs, and other costs not allocated to candle products. Using this markup, we arrive at a dollar amount to add to the total manufacturing cost per unit for this votive of 35 cents. Our retailers have a markup on retail selling price of about 55%. When you calculate the dollar amount of their markup, you find that this votive might sell for $1.75 to consumers. However, consumers may not pay this amount for this votive. For example, if they buy 12 votives at a time, they pay approximately 10% less per votive. Also, they might buy this votive on a seasonal clearance sale or in the factory outlet store. During the sale periods, consumers get a 20% reduction on any candle in the root candle retail stores. Also, candles in the fragrance of the month are 25% off regular retail price. Other factors that influence candle prices are changes in the supplier environment and competition, changes in ingredient costs, transportation costs, and labor costs impact prices. For example, a major ingredient in candle manufacturing is paraffin wax, which is a byproduct of refining petroleum. As the cost of gasoline continues to escalate in the U.S. and in most of the world, so does the cost of paraffin wax. These are our bulk wax storage tanks that we use to store liquid wax. 
Essentially, we purchase three types of wax forms for our, our candle manufacturing. We purchase flakes, slab, and liquid. And by far the biggest usage we have is of liquid wax. In a pricing mechanism, I want to explain what the impact of cost does to our prices. One of the least expensive waxes we have purchased for use in our candles is about 38 cents a pound. We use 4 million pounds of this inexpensive wax a year in our processes. For every penny increase that this wax increases, it costs our company $40,000 in margin if we can't pass on those costs to the end user. In the last two and a half years, because of higher petroleum prices, which translate to higher paraffin prices, we've seen that basic wax component and cost of 38 cents rise to 52 cents. So the impact of that has hurt tremendously because we don't believe we can pass that along to our end market directly. So the impact has been, has been reduced margin for our company. To counter these cost increases, Root has looked for less expensive sources of paraffin wax or for substitutes, such as soybean and palm oil waxes. Soybean wax has been less expensive than paraffin in the past. However, increased demand for biodiesel made with soybeans has increased the price for soybean wax. The competitive environment for candle manufacturers has been volatile. The candle industry is relatively small in terms of dollar volume, but large in terms of competitors. The entry barrier is low. Hundreds of candle manufacturers plus small craft producers compete for a slice of the market. Yankee Candle is the industry leader with about a 15% market share. The number and size of direct competitors makes it difficult for any one company to initiate price increases. In recent years, non-traditional competitors have emerged. Fashion designers, perfume manufacturers, and upscale retailers like Pier 1 and The Pottery Barn are marketing scented candles under their own trademark. S.C. Johnson sells candles fragranced with many of Glade's air freshener scents. Other types of delivery devices include incense burners, potpourri, reed diffusers, plug-ins, and oil burners. However, the greatest competitive threat in recent years has come from overseas. In 1985, the U.S. candle industry experienced a flood of cheap imports from the People's Republic of China. The National Candle Association, our industry trade group, filed an anti-dumping petition with the International Trade Association, and shortly thereafter, the U.S. Department of Commerce issued an order to the U.S. Customs Service to assess an anti-dumping duty of 54.21% on petroleum wax candles from China. Fair competition prevailed until the late 1990s, when the dumping of cheap Chinese candles started up again. In 2004, the U.S. Department of Commerce doubled the anti-dumping duty to 108.3%. Sadly, the Chinese have found ways to circumvent the anti-dumping duty and our industry still struggles to compete against the Chinese threat. Root's competitive strategy is straightforward. Quality and innovation. Root believes that the American consumer wants a safe product, a quality product, and a fashionable product. Rapid response to changes in consumer preferences with respect to candle styles, colors, and fragrances is a key success factor in the industry. Root is competing for the business of discerning customers who want quality, style, and excitement when it comes to the candles they buy for their home, for gifts, and for pure enjoyment.